Come in. Morning, Kopano. Morning. Oh, your makeup looks so nice. Thank you. Huh. Good. Listen, I've got your scripts for today, okay? Uh -huh. So it looks like you're going to be talking about the 10 ways that you can get your ex-boyfriend back for today. No, and I no, 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 no. I don't want to do that video. What do you mean you don't want to do this video? I've said it to you guys before. Like, I don't like that topic. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Listen, go on, listen. No, no, no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this today. We're never, ever doing this, actually. Because you know why? When you started this show, you said that you want to give the people what they want. You said they must send their questions. They're sending their questions. This is what they want. I don't care if you don't want to do this video. You're doing it. I don't want to. You're doing it. It's not about you. I don't you. want to. Okay. So here's the script. I'll see you. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die. and welcome to my channel I'm Gopana Shumagi and this is how I do things a show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice use it don't use it take it don't take it at all listen do what you will with it I am no pro I am no professional whatsoever I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was on your shoes I'm being very serious very serious I didn't want to do this video I didn't want to do it I was just like I it's a topic I kind of want to stay away from because I think I'm too shy to do this So now when somebody asks me what I would do if I was in their shoes to get their ex-boyfriend back I'm just like I don't know babes. I would just accept babes But now if it's time that you must just Fight back and be like I want that man back and I'm going to find him. I'm going to get him Then what must you do? So I'm going to put myself in your shoes if I had the guts, the gall, the bladder, ne? To go and get my ex back, what would I do? So there's basically 10 things that I'm going to list for you guys. The 10 things that I would do if the man, the love of my life left me. And I was just like, ah, uh -uh. love babes, I need to get my man back. These are the things that I would do. Number one, I would give it a month. One month of giving him pure space. Do you know what pure space is? No phone calls, no texts, no email, no social media contact. I wouldn't even like a picture from that guy. Mm -hmm. If he responds to one of my Insta stories, I wouldn't even double click to just say a heart, just to say I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I'd see it, leave it, leave it. I would not contact the man for four whole weeks. Literally, I'd give him space, but also I'd give myself space because I truly want to understand the context of this breakup. I want to see life without him in the picture because when you are in love guys love is blind it becomes cloudy 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 you can't see anything so i need to now see clearly and in order for me to see clearly i need to get i need to kind of kind of see the world without him in the picture for just for four weeks no contact with him if he contacts me then i'm not breaking the rules here okay number two i act single i know i'm single but there's a difference between acting single and being single. Being single, you're not in a relationship. Acting single, I am available. So for four weeks, while I am not contacting this guy, I really want to wash him out of my system. So I would act single. If another guy asked me out on a date, I'd try it. Because, you know, sometimes when you break up with a person, you become so cloudy and you're just like, listen, I can't see the world without this guy. <laughs> you need maybe just to explore life without him. So not contacting him for a month is one thing. But the other thing is just to see what would happen if I actually just was to try. Just in the month. And maybe you might not meet anyone in that month, but I would just act available. Just if somebody says, let's go for a drink, I'd go out for a drink. If a guy is flirting with me, I'd flirt back. Because I honestly want to see what is this life without this guy, okay? And I'm not going to force to go on dates or anything like that. I just, I just want to act available. I just want to see how being fully committed to being available instead of just being stuck to this guy is. And the reason why I'm doing this, the reason why I'm not contacting him and the reason why I just want to act available is that I don't want to be desperate when I go back to this guy. 
I want to remove all desperation and neediness because that is not sexy. Maybe that guy wants you back, but because you're desperate and needy, he's just like, ugh. Number three, I'd actually work on myself. Some like really good work on myself. My sister calls it unpacking the box. There's this box of emotions, memories, and things that we put in when we have a relationship or when you go into a relationship. And during this month, I want to unpack this box, see what it is, think back about this relationship, but also think about myself. How have I changed in this relationship? How did I become in this relationship? Do I need to go back to myself rediscover myself and truly work on myself to be better because by the time I go back to this guy I don't want him to find me the way that I was I want to have healed I want to have felt better about myself and I also want to come back on level 20 if he left me on level 3 I want to come back and be like I defeated the boss on level 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and now on level 20 and I think that you can come and join me on level 20. Number 4 is a warning. Don't overcompensate for your singleness which is something that we do. We start to be like oh I'm so over him, I'm over him. You know what? Actually that guy was actually trash. That guy was actually trash. We're not doing that. We're not bad mouthing him. The other thing is that now you want to win. You know, the happiest person is the winner. So you're posting all over social media about going out, living your best life. You just want him to see that I'm over you. I'm so over you. I'm really, really over you. I don't want to do that as well. Don't overcompensate for your singleness by trying to show off that you're happy, by trying to show off that you're doing great. Just be a good level. You don't want to do too much and you don't want to do too little. So just be on a good level and just be good with yourself. Number five, once you're in a good space mentally, once you've come to terms with the fact that you guys have broken up, you no longer have that desperation or that neediness or that please, 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 please come back. Woo! Once that is all gone, you've gathered thyself. You're going to assess whether what is broken is fixable. When you have a break up, something broke. And it broke to a point where you guys couldn't stay together and fix it. Now that you guys have broken up, you've given each other space, and you're in a good space mentally, that desperation and that neediness is gone, you can now say, okay, let's look at actually what happened here. And the thing that happened, can we fix it? Most importantly, am I okay with fixing it? If the man is a serial cheetah and is extremely disrespectful and then you go through a point where you're just like okay i'm no longer needy i'm no longer doing this because i feel lonely but i'm doing this because i feel like i lost a good thing can the thing that we are we were arguing about the thing that we broke up about am i okay with fixing it can i forgive him for what he did and also if let's say you were the one in the wrong do you think it's something that is fixable have you changed genuinely don't just say i will change have you changed genuinely have you changed your ways number six is to make the actual decision to get back together with the guy once you see that the thing is actually fixable and you want to fix that thing make a decision that you know what i'm actually going to go after this guy and get into a good mental state about that because here's the thing it could go really right and you guys could get back together with him and you guys could get back together and it's great or it can go wrong and he can just say listen i'm actually really over this and i don't want to do this be in a good state for that be mentally prepared for that that it may go right or it may go wrong but make a decision don't be like i just want to see uh-uh uh-uh you know this guy you know yourself you know where you are don't just go and play around with another person's emotions uh decide i'm really doing this i don't just want to see i want a relationship with this man and that's what i'm going for number seven reach out to him and tell him that you'd like to talk babes i know we want to beat around the bush. No, I just want to see you. No, it's nothing big. Let's just hang out. Ah, ah, ah. You must let the man know that you have some sort of intentions. We have this tendency to accept less just because we just want just even a little bit of your time. Ah, no. We have fixed thyselves. We have come to a point where we love thyselves. Where we have come to a point where we are good. No longer needy. No longer desperate. So we're not taking a desperate approach to seeing him. We're not going to accept little. We're going to ask for more. And this doesn't mean you have to be all up and like, no, I got my standards now. This is not what we're doing. We are just asking, hey, babe, do you want to chat? I'd really like to chat to you. Want to do lunch, supper, you know, what's good with you? But let's chat. If he's not available, if he can only do, do drinks and going out, nightclubbing and all of that stuff, and he doesn't actually want to chat, 
then that's not what we're doing. We want more. We want to sit. We want to talk. Number eight. When we get there, babes, Elwasisi, we are going to be memorized, looking good, hair's done, the fit is great, but wait, you mustn't overcompensate. We are not desperate, we are need, not needy, we are not going to overcompensate. So we're going to look good, but it must look effortless. Chill, stay calm, don't give the game away. But when we arrive, what we are going to do is we're going to stay calm and we're going to put it out there. Let's get back together. Ooh, this is a difficult one because we want to play games. We want to lure him in. We want the fish to get on the hook and just come back in. But babe, you're going to make the option available to him. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be upfront and we're going to be real. We're just going to be real. Just, you know, how's it going? How have things been going with you? You know, I've been thinking. I'd really like to get back together with you. You, my heart already. You! I know this is a scary pro <laughs> The prospect of just putting yourself out there and getting rejected is scary. Is it's actually very scary. So a big part of me kind of hopes and kind of wishes that this guy when I get there He's going to be the first one to tell me that he'd like to get back together with me But if I see that the day is going Time is running out and this man hasn't said anything about getting back together. I'm gonna put it out there <sighs> He might not want to get back together with me and if he doesn't that's okay. So number eight We are going to put it out there and this just leads me to number nine. If he does not want to get back together with you, if he has moved on, then you should too. Whew. It's difficult. It's difficult to put yourself out there. I've actually been in this position before and unfortunately I got rejected. Okay, I did. But I did my part and then I moved on. And you really want that closure. Okay, I'm gonna be that friend. I'm not gonna be that friend that says don't play games, don't do all of these things. But honestly, honestly, really, by the time you get to step number seven, he should want you back. And if he doesn't want you back and he hasn't asked you back, just be straight with him because you don't wanna drag this thing for months. Just, you know, trying to show him, fighting with the makeup, looking good all the time on Instagram, just trying to, I'm here. Huh? If he doesn't see that, babe, move on. And the big warning, the 10th and final thing that I would do if I wanted my ex back is I would accept nothing less than being his girl, like his exclusive girl, his girlfriend. And I'll tell you why. If you are now going to accept breadcrumbs, you'll be chasing breadcrumbs until somebody else secures the loaf. I promise you. If you decide, if you say, I'm going to ask him out and if he says, listen, I can't do supper, I can't do dinner, let's just go do drinks, I'm going out with my boys, we can chat there. That's accepting less. If you put yourself out there and he's just like, you know what, ah, I don't really know, let's just kick it for a while, let's just hang for a while and then we'll see where it goes. That's accepting less. When you accept less from that moment onwards, from step eight downwards, you are putting yourself in a position to be friend zoned and you're putting yourself in a position to be a doormat. You know what a doormat is? When a man comes back from the streets and he comes back home and he wipes his feet and goes in. Do you want to be that? The girl he wipes his feet with after he's gone all over the streets. He knows he will always come back to you. You're always there. No. We are in a good space now. We've accepted that we've broken up. And we're in a mental space that if he's moved on, we're going to move on too. So if you've put yourself, if he hasn't asked you back by step number seven and you put yourself out there and he said no by step number eight, number 10 is where you're not accepting less, we're cutting it off from there. All right, babe, that is what I would do if I was in your shoes. You can let me know how you feel and what you would do. Babes, that's what I would do. Personally, personality, that's what I would do. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and send me more suggestions on what you want to hear in our next video. But that's all I have for you today. Until next time, beautiful people, I'm Kapana Shmang and this is how I do things. 
Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Oh, I'm loving these. I'm loving them so much. Woo! The family is growing and I appreciate every single one of you. Now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on this button right here. It will help you to subscribe and also binge watch. Feel, f I will not judge you. No one is judging you at all. And if you have not gone to my website, www.kopanashimangi.com, then please do and join the gorgeous gang and just extend your familiness. Until next time. Bye.